this subject this subject isn't so pertinent now as it was 20 some odd years ago but believe it or not people did argue between whether or not hardware acceleration was worth the money people argued that software red software rendering was perfectly fine and you couldn't tell the difference between hardware well I'll show you how incredibly wrong they were. For your viewing pleasure, if we just go and start up the standard edition first, for comparison. Keep in mind, this game was made in 1997. Right when 3DFX was getting its ground and the Voodoo cards were coming out. At this time, the Voodoo 2 had just come out. Let's skip that. I think you can do demo mode. Let's just do a quick race. I've chosen the Ferrari for both tests. I believe, unless I change the car for the accelerated. So here's what it looks like in software mode. It looks okay, I guess. It's a little bit blocky, not as smooth. I mean, it's definitely fast, but it seems like it's lacking something. Now if we'll just go over to the 3D accelerated version. Same intro logo, same start screen. Looks pretty much the same, right? Check what car I picked. Okay, same thing. So you go and you start it. And you're going to expect, oh, well, it's probably going to look the same. Or maybe it's going to look a little bit smoother. Keep in mind, this is like in 97 mind state. I mean, it's not much now, but in 97, this was pretty much what Theory Acceleration was trying to match. Was It was trying to match the consoles, and also it looks like it's going faster. But in 97, they were trying to match the graphics power of consoles, because prior to this, you pretty much had uh, Quake, which is really good, but that was in OpenGL. And then you had Descent, that was more polygon based, it wasn't, I mean everything's based in polygons, but that had a lower polygon count. And then you had Doom, which was really 2.5D. So realistically, except for Quake, you really didn't have any 3D games, let alone 3D racing games. Okay, now there was Pod, but that came al that came along the same time. But imagine going from and also this is a fairly beefy system. So if you're running in softer mode on a standard Pentium 2, like 200 megahertz, 
it's really going to hurt you. Yet when you switch over to the accelerated, it's going to give you a boost of like 10, 20 frames per second or more. So if you go from slogging along at 15 to now, well this is drawing at like 60 frames, but <laughs> slogging along at like 15 frames and then when you get the um, uh, 3D accelerated, it'll be like a completely new world to you. So, yeah, this is just a quick little video I wanted to do to kind of showcase something and kind of get a sneak peek that um, those with a keen eye will probably be able to figure out which system I'm using to play this.